god. What happened? Smashed ribs, punctured lung. He's dying. He needs White Rufford's decoction. Hang on, Leo. It was here. I can't find it. Vesemir, Leo is dead. How did this happen? He attacked the professor. I was late. It's not your fault, Geralt. We're all to blame. Triss barely made it fighting for us. These are bad times for witchers, and something tells me they'll only get worse. Is it safe up top? Relatively. Some stragglers up there, but we'll deal with them later. You look tired. I'd like you to rest. I'll keep watch and tend to Leo's body. Left click on the meditation icon in the dialog to enter meditation mode. Tip. Choose how long to meditate by clicking on the noon, dawn, midnight or dusk icon or by moving the meditate slider. Okay. So this is the meditation icon, right? Rest a bit and prepare. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. So this is how we should do. Um, this is meditate till noon, meditate till dusk, meditate till midnight, meditate till dawn. Alchemy, potion preparation. Select the formula to add ingredients to the vial automatically. Then left click on mix at the bottom right side of the screen. Left click the or glass to brew the potion while meditating. Okay. Character development. You have earned talents. Use these to upgrade character features. That includes attributes, signs and compact styles. Select the feature you want to enhance from the list on the left. Then choose from among the highlighted enhancements in the ability tree on the right. To commit your choices, left click on the hour glass to cancel and start over. Left click on the erase icon. Okay. We have three talents. I think these are bronze, right? Bronze talents. Silver, gold, novitiate, witcher, strength. Dexterity, Stamina, Intelligence. We already have the Art Sign. I think let's upgrade the Strength. Strength level 1. Damage plus 5%. Parade plus 5%. Vitality plus 25. Resistance to Bleeding plus 5. Knockdown Resistance. Required Bronze Talent. Alright. We got it. Okay, let's upgrade the stamina. And intelligence. Base sign intensity plus 10%. Unlocks level 2 sign. Yeah, I need that one. Okay. Oh. Is he made there? Okay. Eskel came by while you were resting. Triss is still unconscious, but stable. That's a relief. I've made a decision, Wolf. We abandon Kaer Morin. There's nothing holding us here. I see. We need to bid Leo farewell and wait for Triss to recover. And the bandits? Yes, we need to finish things. But first, we must make a healing potion for Triss. We'll need to search for ingredients. Nothing useful left here. I can do that. How do I make the potion? Lambert will give you the formula. 
Look for him by the fireplace. He's with our brave sorceress. Lambert? He doesn't hate Triss? Feels guilty, I think. The first thing Triss'll hear when she wakes is, Finally awake, Marigold. That's Lambert. Let's get to work. Later, I'll teach you how to extract ingredients from monsters. I'll be in the main hall. Fine. Alright then. Journal. Left click on the scroll icon or press J to open the journal. Press quest to see your next mission. Choose the potion for Triss quest. Then left click track quest to track the mission on the map. Alright then. New quest, a potion for Triss. Primary quest. What about this one? Status active. Okay. Vesemir told me to prepare a potion for Triss who is wounded. Lambert is watching over the sorceress in the main hall. He'll give me further instructions. I need to see Lambert in the main hall of the Care Mohan and find out how to brew the potion. Okay, let's go to the ground floor. Okay, he is right over here. Geralt, is something wrong? No time to talk. I need to make a potion for Triss. You should find a vial of white gull in the armory on the upper floor. Grab some calcium equum from the evening hall. Look for white stones in one of the chests. If you find any stragglers, finish them. We don't need prisoners. The stairs are through that door. I'd go, but Marigold lies unconscious by the fire. That's the calcium equum again. Where can I get some alcohol? Lambert, I have to tell you something. Okay. Where can I get some alcohol? There should be white gull in a crate in the armory on the upper floor. The room's full of weapons, you'll know it when you see it. Okay. Lambert, I have to tell you something. What is it? Leo. The bandits killed him. He wasn't ready. What a loss. We'll hunt them down, Wolf. We'll avenge Leo. Yeah, I'll find you later. I'll find you later. Basic alchemy. Prepare potions in meditation mode. Gather the required ingre ingredients first. Okay. White girl. Calcium ecom. Lambert will help me brew the potion. First, I need to bring him a mineral from the evening hall on the upper floor and some alcohol from the armory. I must also kill any bandits I encounter on my way. Okay, so first thing is mineral from evening hall on the upper floor. I think this is the ground floor. We need to access the stairs, right? Can we go up from this side? Wow, let's collect them. Old cupboard, weak alcohol, rotten leg, food, guttered fish, food. Wow, the 
barrel flint nice wardrobe and alcohol okay then oh oh uh, fast style right x x or c oh Okay, for you, Z. All right. Oh my God, he fell down. Can I go down here? I would like to get the remind. Okay, I cannot swim. I cannot go down. Oh, okay, two orange. Nice. What do you got here? Peak alcohol. Okay, this is the upper floor. Oh, bandits. Style takes a lot of time to defeat these bandits. All right. Two orange. Two orange. Two orange. Oh my God! Some more bandits. Anybody? Okay. Oh my god. I killed all the bandits. Okay. To turn off floating message like too fast and final attack in the game option. Oh, okay, okay. That's all right. It is helpful, right? Oh, totally. We have thirty-six orange. Library. Dresser. Bottled water. Restores endurance. It can also be sold or given to someone. Okay. Evening hall. Stage two dress room evening hall. Okay. There we have. This is the calcium aquam. And armory. Any interesting stuff here? Weak alcohol. We are in the evening hall. 
Let's hop on the crate. Wow, swallow potion. Oh, totally. We have five swallow potion. Alchemical ingredients contains the following substance: vitriol, rubido. Okay, mutton leg powder, high quality base for bombs. Nice. Unknown potion. Double click to drag or click. Unknown potion. Yeah, let's have them. Book, the frightener. The book discuss frighteners. The frightener, a collection of information on an usually rare monster known as the frightener. This book adds a bestiary entry to the journal. Okay, monster frightener. This is the one. Frightener. Occurrence. Frighteners are very rare. They come into being as a result of magical experiments. To create a frightener, a mage has to possess great power and a basic knowledge of mutation. Immunity. Frighteners are immune to almost all effects. Suspectability. Sensitive to steel and silver. Very sensitive to loud sound at high frequencies. Okay. Tactics. In combat, fright frighteners rely on their size and strength. They try to knock their opponents down and then deal a lethal blow. Oh. Alchemy. Frighteners eye and claw. Okay. We'll be getting these two one. The first mage to create a frightener was the infamous renegade Do Dagobert Sola. A diligent student of the Zericanian masters of alchemy and the supervisor of the trial of the grasses carried out at Carmorhan. Upon beholding the abomin abomination he had created, Sula is said to have cried, What what have I done? He destroyed the monster. His notes how however survived. Okay. Okay, we have a dresser here. Water bottle, nice. Okay, we don't seem to have anything in here. Now let's open up this one. White girl potion. Alchemical base used to make other potion. Mild witchers. Hello, Sinogen. Book Monstrum or Portrayal of Witches. And an anti witcher pamphlet describes how ordinary people perceive witches and recounts the story of Cadmoran destruction. Okay. Monstrum or a portrayal of witches, anonymous. Indeed, there is nothing more repulsive than these monsters that defy nature and are known by the names of witcher, as they are the offspring of fall sorcery and witchcraft, they are unscrupulous scoundrels. Without consigns and virtue, veritable creatures from the he from hell, capable only of taking lives. They have no place amongst decent and honest folk, and this Kermorhan, where these villains nest and practice foul rituals, must be wiped off the face of the earth, and all evil traces of it need to be treated with salt and saltpeter to complete the deal. Okay. Laboratory. Famous Witcher Laboratory holds the most closely guarded secrets of the caste. Cryptogenic plants, hallucinogenic mushrooms, natural stimulants, and potion ingredients. It is here that young apprentices were subjected to the incredibly painful trial of the grasses. 
which only a few survived gaining superhuman abilities in return all right oh sword temerian iron dagger damage 1 to 6 this weapon cannot be used in combination with witcher combat style what about this one a uh, both of them are same rusty sword a yeah, steel sword used to fight humans ineffective against most monsters used in witcher combat style i think okay let's have them oh axe cool damage 5 to 15 chance of critical effect bleeding 40% this weapon cannot be used in combination with witcher combat style oh what is this it looks like a targeting practice Okay, now that we have collected all of them, okay, we need to proceed over here. This way. No, we cannot go this way. Wow, trunk. We did not open this one. Increase damages inflicted by twenty percent. Okay. Wow. Bread, drink, food. Wow, water bottle. What about this room? We have a crate over there. Okay, Lambert is right over here. It is on that side. Oh, okay. Lambert is right over here. Okay, left click on a lit campfire to enter meditation mode. Meditate by lit campfires. The fire will ignite by itself if you have flint. If you lack flint, use the igni sign. Okay. Right now, the igni sign is not introduced, right? Okay. How do I escape out of it? Okay. Okay. Lambert is right over here. Take rest. What do you need? Then I have ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Done. 
I have the ingredients, and it's safe upstairs. Good. You'll need two more things to make the potion. The claw of a mighty beast, and some celandine. Vesemir will tell you where to find them. Let me teach you the formula. New into the journal. Speak to Vesemir. What do you need? What do I do what now? What do I do now? Talk to Vesemir. He'll give you instructions. I'll find you later. A skill. Need anything, Wolf? I have some questions. What is it? We'll talk later. First of all, let's discuss with Vesemir and then we'll come to his skill. Oh, that was a tough fight. I found a few intruders upstairs, but... I understand they won't be a problem. Lambert, however, let the Frightener get to him. Nothing serious. Good you went after Triss and handled that mage. She was able to salvage some equipment, but it looks like the main device has vanished. Our beautiful sorceress was right, I know. You did well, Wolf. Take this armor and sword. I've been keeping them for you. Lambert gave me the formula. Are there other witches? Okay, let's talk about this Lambert one. Lambert gave me the formula. I take it you already have white gall and calcium equum. I do. What next? You'll need Celandine. Take what I have. Plus the claw of a monster like the Frightener. To skin a creature, take a sharp knife and cut along the torso. You'll find the Frightener's carcass in the upper courtyard. Once you've extracted the claw, rest by the fire while making the potion. Okay, oh, rusty sword. Oh my god, we got a new sword. Witcher's steel sword. Cool. I think even even this sword is also ineffective against against most monsters, right? Okay, I think comparing to rusty sword, this sword must be better, right? Can I speak to you? Yes. What if I get the ingredients wrong? You'll have to find more. Where? I'll have another claw and more celandine. Eskel has alcohol and I saw calcium equum somewhere upstairs. But try to get it right the first time. It's not that hard. All right. Are there other Are witchers? There other witchers? There were three witcher schools in all. But it's been long since I've heard word of the other two. You've met all the witchers I know of. Except for Berengar. Did I know him? I don't believe so. An introvert, he chose his own path. Actually, none here can say they know Berengar. He often ran away from Kaer Morhen, though he would always return in the end. After the trial of the grasses, he finally accepted his destiny and started training for real. Why isn't he here? Some always run. Why isn't he here? I don't know. We lost touch with him a while back. Okay. Can I ask you something? Of course. Who was Leo? You mentioned defending Kaer Morhen before. Any idea who attacked? Who was Leo? One of hundreds of orphans of the war with Nilfgaard. I apprenticed him six years ago. I'm sorry. We'll recover our secrets and find Leo's murderers, even if they fled to the end of the world. Okay. Can I ask you something? Of course. You mentioned defending Kaer Morhen before. Yes. Fifteen witchers once lived here, training boys for their trials. Only they knew the secrets of mutation. Witchers who set out on the path and failed to assimilate among humans wintered here. Before the battle, 23 witchers and 40 students called Kaer Morhen home. Too damn few for the mob that attacked. I never knew why they came. Some say a sudden explosion of anger born of disdain for witchers. But no, someone provoked the mob with flyers filled with lies. Special agents read them to the peasants. 
Truer still, the fanatics could never have taken the fort without the aid of sorcerers, though they outnumbered us by far. They didn't even spare the youngest. I alone survived, concealed among the corpses. Walk around, Wolf. The skeletons remain. You may find a flyer. There used to be hundreds. Memorize it as a warning of the evil humans can perpetrate. Okay. Can I ask you something? Of course. Any idea who attacked? No, but the mage suggests no ordinary bandits. We found pins adorned with salamanders on the dead. The symbol of their organization, perhaps? I sense hard times ahead. Okay. We'll speak later. Baron got secrets. How can I help? What do I use as the base for my potion? You seem you seem to feel at home here. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo Leo's mutation? Tell me about the trial of the grasses. Did you see the magic storm? Okay, let's start with the first one. What do I use as the base for my what potion? What do I use as the base for my potion? Alcohol. The better it is, the purer and more powerful your potion. You seem to feel at home here. You seem to feel at home here. Well, I've always preferred an armory to a lab. Though Vesemir plays up the importance of potions, he's hardly an expert. After all, he's always taught swordplay. Still, he tries to teach us everything he learned when he was young, and that was a while back. But to be honest, I don't care for all these powders, mushrooms, and other trash. Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Couldn't Triss have helped with Leo's mutation? Maybe. It's a little more complicated than that. See, we've never shown her the lab. And the last mutation was completed years ago, before the battle. Vesemir can tell you more. You really think Triss never used magic to peek inside? Oh, you really okay. think Triss never used magic to peek inside? She respects our secrets, and she's done a lot for us. For you. I trust her. Oh. So why haven't you shown her the lab? Triss would like to use our secrets to heal people and such. I've no doubt she'd try. But it's never that simple. Ever heard of the gnome Alfred Nabel? Eskel, I have amnesia. An incomparable inventor, like most of his race. Through years of research, he discovered an amazing substance. He intended it for use in mines and quarries. Though a genius, Alfred failed to foresee his invention's possible applications. Others quickly realized that a substance designed to rip granite from the ground could destroy castle walls. Some even considered using it in open battle. I get it. So what happened to Alfred's discovery? Mages stopped it from spreading. Alfred committed suicide, and his lab burned down. Tell me about the trial of the grasses. Tell me about the trial of the grasses. It's a three-stage process. The first is the choice. Leo completed it, enduring the hard training and diet. I presume it's more than your basic lettuce and carrots. Special mushrooms, mosses, and herbs are grown in the lab. Combined with training, they accelerate muscle growth and digestion, improving the body's general condition. Does everyone pass the first stage? Unfortunately not. The liver and heart often fail. The mind sometimes, too. Resulting in excessive aggression. What's the second stage? The trial of the grasses. More idiotic tales have been conjured up about that than about princesses and dwarves. Before the raid, the lab contained vials, hearths, formulae, herbs, and the grasses. A mage and his magic were all that was lacking. Did you ever witness a trial? Just one. Our own. I thought I was going to lose it when your hair turned white. The grasses affect the nervous system, so magic must control the process. The trial results in lightning-fast reflexes, reaction times normal people will never attain. Only four out of ten survive. Oh, quite a cut. And the last quite stage? Cut. And the last stage? I don't know the specifics. Wow. It involves changes like the mutation of the eyes, the bone marrow, hormones. In exchange, we see in the dark heal much faster than ordinary folk, and gain increased resistance to poison. Interesting. What's the cost? We're infertile. The changes are irreversible? Entirely. 
Did you see the magic storm? Yes, I was out hunting. Just before the storm came, a swarm of night jars took flight. Hundreds of them. Gray streaks across the sky, trilling wildly. Usually less of them gather, and their cries rarely sound so desperate. When the storm came, I gave up the hunt and headed toward Kaer Morin. Met the others on the way. Okay. We'll talk, talk later. later. Now, I learned how to skin monsters. Vesime told me to find the frighteners carcass in the courtyard. I need to carve a claw from the beast corpse. I need to go to the courtyard and remove a claw from the frighteners carcass. My care more and companions and I are not the only remaining witchers. Apparently Berengar is also still alive. He stays away from the brotherhood and was in at the fortress when it was attacked. Where was he then? And who is he? If I ever meet him, I'll be certain to ask at least those questions. Veshimir mentioned another graduate of Kaer Moran, the witcher named Berengar. I need to go to the courtyard and remove the claw from the brightness that comes. So courtyard, we need to proceed towards the courtyard. This is the campfire. Okay, courtyard door. Now where? Gate winch, right nurse. Carcass. Wow, this is this monster is dead. To extract alchemical components, left click on the monster's monster carcass. To read books to gain information about monsters and alchemical ingredients. You must know about the ingredients before you can collect them. Okay. We have already read that one, right? Frighteners Claw, special alchemical ingredients required to prepare Tris medicine. Special substance. Frighteners Eye. Okay. Then why is it showing in the red? Okay. Let's get to Lambert. So that we can make potion fortress. Where is Tris? Yes. Yes. Where are Lambert Where and Eskel? Where are Lambert and Eskel? Upstairs. Lambert's in the library, and Eskel's taking Tris to her room. Okay. I have all the ingredients. Good. Now rest and prepare the potion according to the formula. Okay.
while left click on the while to create portion okay now we need to prepare portion for tris okay is it going to work now okay the portion fortress is ready i think okay let's okay Okay, let's get to upstairs. Where is Tris? Okay, Lambert is inside. What is it, Wolf? Any thoughts on the attackers? Any thoughts on the attackers? Amateurs. If not for the mage and the frightener, we'd have beaten them blindfolded. But they had a mage and a frightener. They robbed us and killed Leo. True, but we'll find them. He Leo said he you. almost defeated you. We were sparring when that storm arrived. My medallion jerked so hard I almost fell. The boy saw an opening. Uh, he certainly had potential. Then Marigold appeared, shaking, delirious. She insisted we chase the wild hunt. Vesemir agreed. He always had a soft spot for her. You dislike Triss? She's too pretentious for my taste. All right. Can you tell me about the fighting style witches use? Can you tell me about the fighting styles witches use? The art of combat involves three traditional sword fighting styles, plus a few variations designed for combating monsters. Start with the basic style. I wouldn't mind hearing about the monster fighting techniques. I wouldn't mind hearing about monster fighting techniques. You noticed we carried two swords? That's because some monsters are immune to steel. A normal sword won't cut them. For instance, werewolves, vampires, genies, and other magical beasts. The techniques for fighting with a silver sword derive from traditional swordsmanship, but there are a few essential differences. No parries and repasts, mainly steps, evasive moves, spins and other acrobatics. I'll be in trouble if I don't get my memory back. I'll be in trouble if I don't get my memory back. You'll be all right, Wolf. Your body will recall all it needs to. Certain things you never forget. Trust your intuition when choosing your fighting style. The devil's best against kickamores, graviers and fledders. The fiery dancer is absolutely superb against bar guests and ghouls. And the verladen? Anything that attacks in groups, but initially limited to drowners. Thanks, Lambert. No problem, Wolf. Start with Start basic with the style. basic styles. Kiermaren is the wolf school. Old Vesemir always made sure we trained more as warriors than mages, though we also learned the signs. Witches employ three fighting styles. There's Adan Enye, the fiery dancer, which we call the fast style. The Viroledin Nefde Fendlediv, the group style. And the Temerian Devil, the strong style. Which style do you want to hear about? The fiery dancer sounds interesting. The legendary elven swordsman and poet Nisail created it, basing the system of steps and cuts on his observations of wildcats, especially the ocelots that elven rulers used as palace guards. The fiery dancer favors speed and agility over strength of blows. Opponents simply don't have the time to strike back. The ideal swordsman is a flame that cannot be hurt and inflicts wounds each time it is touched. Nisail himself wrote that. The style is popular among the elven aristocracy. Which style do you want to hear about? Tell me about the Viroledan style. Tell me about the Viroledan style. Literally translated, it is the Nine Sun Sword style. 
The swordsman of Verolito developed it as a method for tackling several opponents through complex slashing sequences. They say masters of this style can fight nine opponents simultaneously. Which style do you want to hear about? Temerian Devil sounds familiar. Temerian Devil sounds familiar. <laughs> sounds poetic, but there's little or no philosophy involved. Devised by Temerian Landsknechts, simple men. It's best against heavy armored opponents. Which style do you want to hear about? All I right think I've then. heard enough. All right. We'll speak later. Should take the potion to Triss room on the upper floor. We are on the upper floor, right? Where are we now? Okay, Triss is right over here. She is sleeping. Tauzine Red, medium strength alcohol, thought by many to be the most exquisite red wine in the world. Okay. Blueberries. Right, Flint. Double click on the healing potion to give it to Triss. Win favor of other characters by giving them gifts. Okay. Healing potion. Oh, okay. Thank you, Geralt. I hope this potion helps. That was terrible. I dreamt Lambert was with me. He was staring at me, saying things like, Don't go dying on me, Marigold. Calling me big-headed. I'm so glad to see you. What? I'm glad you're feeling better. I know we should set out. But I have a feeling we won't be back. Perhaps ever. Won't you stay just a bit longer? With me? I suppose we have some time. We have no time to lose stress. The sooner we set off, the better. Mm, I think we'll take... I suppose we have some time. I'm so happy you're back. When I saw you, all the feelings I tried to deny returned. Stronger than ever. Triss, I'm not ready to talk about the past. Of course. I, I shouldn't pressure you. I just feel so... <laughs> the powers. I'm behaving like a teenager. Let's focus on the present. I guess I disappointed you all. Forgive me. It's not your fault. You helped us. Nothing yeah. to forgive. What I felt when I learned you were alive, hard to compare to anything. Oh. Except maybe what I feel as I look at you. I missed you so. Let's see if the best bed in Kaer Morin can hold us. <laughs> oh. Man's card. Ah, <sighs> Geralt, a pleasure, as always. As always. You don't remember anything? Unfortunately. Well, you have something to look forward to then. No matter. Tell me, how did the battle end? They broke into the lab, killed Leo, stole our mutagens, and escaped. Poor Vesemir. Another protege dead prematurely. We delayed the funeral until you awoke. Thank you. As for the mutagens, their loss could prove catastrophic. Let's not lose any more time. Unless there's something you'd like to ask me? We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? Can you restore my memory? The theft, what are its possible consequences? I need to do something. I'll come back and get get you when I'm ready. Okay, let's ask this one. Can you restore my memory? I'd have to examine you. There's a good chance your memory will return on its own. How much chance? 
That's difficult to say. It might help if I knew what caused you to lose your memory. Well, no time for that now. Geralt, can we go? Know anything more about the sorcerer who ransacked the lab? He's very powerful. He completely controlled the energy he drew from the circle. We may soon be facing another Vilgefortz. Who? No matter. I have something I'd like to teach you. New entry in the journal. Okay, we have talents. Geralt, can we go? The theft, what are its possible consequences? The theft, what are its possible consequences? Most sorcerers and rulers would sell their greedy, power-hungry souls to get the mutagens. Only a master of the arcane arts can use that knowledge. Not many of those left. What about wealthy merchants, dukes, kings? Perhaps. Anything's possible. But speculating wastes time. We just don't have enough information. True. Geralt, can we go? Yeah. We shouldn't keep Vesemir waiting. Come on, then. We don't know where the bandits came from or who's behind them. We'll draw attention if we venture out as a group. By splitting up, we can also cover more territory. I'll go west. I know a few people there, and I prefer the coastal then climate. Then I'll head east, to Kedwin, unless someone objects. That's fine. Which way should I go? South, to Tamaria. King Foltest owes you a debt of gratitude. Some time ago, you removed a curse from his daughter. You might happen on the bandit's trail there. And you, Triss? I'll try to use my influence to find the bandits. If I learn anything, I'll contact Geralt. Okay, everybody is splitting into different direction. I'll gather what information I can and find you in Vizima. Triss. Don't, Geralt. I detest goodbyes. I'm liable to cry, and there's nothing more pathetic than a sorceress in tears. Don't get killed, Geralt. I don't think I could deal with that again. I'll see you soon. See you, Triss. <laughs> 